Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. In the last vid, I was talking about E raised to 1. Here, I'm going to talk about E raised to X. If you haven't seen the last vid, you should check it out because this is closely related to that one. So, here, the formula for E raised to X is something like this 1 plus X plus blah blah blah. And this goes on infinitely. Now, you probably ask me a question yeah, Are you going to calculate this infinitely? Well, actually, no. I'm going to ask the user two things. First, I'm going to ask him this value of X over here. And then I'm going to ask him how many terms he wants. If he wants two terms, we're going to calculate this much. If he wants three terms, we're going to calculate this much and so on, right? So let me go ahead and show you how the output looks like. Enter the number of terms, 5. Enter the value of x, 2. So we're going to calculate 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared by 2 factorial and blah, blah, blah. All right. Remember, again, more terms is more accuracy. Keep this in mind. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. Then we can go ahead and get this plane flying, all right? So here, the expression is actually like this. But I have broken this 1, if you guys can see, 1 is actually x raised to 0 by 0 factorial, 0 factorial is equals to 1, alright, and x is x raised to 1 upon 1 factorial, and the rest of the terms are just like as they are over here, they are the same, so let me go ahead and break this expression, this one, into pieces and show you what each piece is, first term is that, second term, third term, and fourth term, again, if you guys observe something, whatever value the user has entered for x, we are going to simply take that value, raise that to this power and divide that by the factorial of that same power, right? If you say 1, 1 factorial, 2, 2 factorial, in short, you can actually say something like this. X raised to i, right? Divided by i factorial. This is exactly what we want. This can, you, can be, you can easily figure this out. So let me go ahead and show you here. This rectangle which you see over here, this is the empty value of e raised to x. It's initially 0. There is nothing inside it. But first, I'm going to put this value x raised to 0 by 0 factorial inside. And that's going to increase by some amount, right? And which you can see that over here. Then I put x raised to 1 upon 1 factorial inside. It's going to further increase by some amount, which is like that. And then I'm going to put x raised to 2 by 2 factorial. And as you guys can see, it keeps expanding each time. So in short, we do this in through a for loop. Inside a for loop, we keep putting one by one thing inside this e raised to x. And it keeps adding stuff, right? So let's go ahead and net beans and get this plane flying. So here in NetBeans, I have nothing, just an empty project. There is a buffer reader here for taking input from the user. I asked the user enter the number of terms. Now he's going to say something which I'm going to store in this variable int number. Now there's another thing which we need to take input for and that is the value of x, right? So let's go ahead and copy paste this and say enter the value of x over here and let the user enter that inside this variable called x, all right? Now the first problem is about calculating the factorial. If you guys remember, uh, factorial, uh, I have covered how to calculate the factorial in my previous vids, somewhere in my playlist. In the last vid, if you have seen, I have used an assistant for doing that. The same thing I'm going to do over here. The reason why I'm going I'm to use a method over here, the reason why I'm doing that, this is all pretty complicated as you guys can see, calculating the factorial in the same place, calculating the power in the same place, adding stuff together, this is all going to become very complex. The chances of you making a mistake in this kind of situations is 100%. So let me go ahead and make an, uh, make an assistant who's going to do the factorial work for us. We'll call our assistant get fact, and he's going to ask us, hey dude, you want me to calculate the factorial, that is fine. but what number so you're gonna tell him hey calculate the factorial for this number int number all right and now he's gonna go inside he's gonna calculate the factorial automatically if you guys don't know how this is done you can check my vid or vid on factorial where i have actually showed you how the factorial is done so that's the number over here at this point your assistant has calculated the factorial for you but he has to give you back the result saying hello sir here is your answer for factorial that statement will be like this return fact all right and this we are going to indicate over here by saying he's going to return a type of integer over here so first we're going to test this over here right we're going to say system dot out dot print ln remember till this point you've actually defined how your assistant works you have not called him to do the work for you so here you're going to actually call him by saying get fact for number zero control s okay now here is an error the thing is this your main function is static you need to have this static as well if you don't know what static means don't worry about it we'll get into the static thing when we are in object oriented stuff so now let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 enter the fact number of terms it doesn't matter what input you give because it's gonna ultimately give you zero factorial is one over here right it's working perfectly so we'll carry forward in the next vid if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.